for photographs. Incredible. They're really, really good, Amazing. aren't they? Uh, the exhibition, by the way, runs until the 8th of January at Lighthouse Pool. Uh, we've got some very talented weather photographers as well, haven't we? We do indeed, yes. Let's take a look at your first photo. Tim Riki sent us this shot taken at Stokes Bay in Gosport. And Nick Walwork photographed the blue skies in Henley-on-Thames. So many of us had blue skies overhead. What a wonderful day it was. We are going to see more unsettled conditions as we head through the weekend, but a lot of dry weather as well. This was a scene earlier on today photographing Bournemouth Pier by George Groundhog, one of our weather watchers. So as we head through the day tomorrow, we are going to see widely more cloud. There will be some bright spells in the morning and bright spells as well through the afternoon, but the possibility of some rain arriving later on, affecting western areas initially. Overnight tonight, we'll see that cloud starting to increase. We could see the odd light shower here and there, but a lot of dry weather is expected with a few clear spells and a low of between 4 and 9 Celsius. Tomorrow morning, we'll start the day with a little bit of brightness, some sunshine in the morning, then the cloud will start to thicken. We could see a few showers dotted about as we head through the day. Generally, a lot of dry weather and a breeze coming up from the south with the weather front moving in from the Atlantic as we head through the afternoon and into the evening with temperatures tomorrow peaking at between 11 and 13 Celsius. So this weather front will start to move in tomorrow evening. There is a Met Office rain warning in force for this area. We could see some torrential downpours leading to localised flooding. Elsewhere, away from the, the rain warning, there is going to be still some surface water on the roads and also localised flooding following the heavy rain we've had recently. Now, looking ahead to the coastal forecast tomorrow, the winds are south or southwesterly, three or four, backing southerly, five to seven, and the sea state is occasionally rough. So the weather front moves its way in, some quite torrential rain at times, with brisk winds as well, will move its way eastwards during the course of tomorrow night. As we head through the course of the night, that rain will gradually ease for western areas and temperatures will drop away to a very mild 10 to 12 degrees. Bearing in mind 11 Celsius is the average for November. So it's going to be a very mild night to come tomorrow night with some heavy rain. Rain at first to start the day and that could linger for southern and eastern areas as we head through the day with the cloud. But elsewhere it will start to brighten up as well. So we will see an improving picture into Sunday. Rain at first but then brighter skies with sunny spells developing. Tom. Alexis, thanks very much. Never rains, but it pours, doesn't it? Does, it does, yes. Oh, well, it's the weekend, isn't it? And that's it from us. Uh, thank you for being there this evening. We're back at 10.30. Bye-bye for now. Good night.